obviously, this was number 53 in your homework. Uh, obviously, what I'd do is go ahead and apply FOIL and then see what happens here. 1 times 1 is 1 times negative cosine of x uh, plus secant of x. And therefore, this becomes negative 1. Right? Cosine secant times negative cosine, if you guys agree with me, is negative 1. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. So I'm left with a negative cosine of x plus secant of x. Is that one of the solutions, answers? No? Nope, it's not one of the solutions. So I got to continue working. Can I combine negative cosine of x plus secant of x? Could I? Well, they're not like terms. However, I could rewrite this as negative cosine of x plus 1 over cosine of x. Would that make sense? Now I can think of them as having the same common denominator to combine them. So I'd have to multiply by cosine of x over cosine of x. Therefore, this gives me negative cosine squared of x plus 1 all over cosine of x. I don't think that's one of those either, is it? But I could use my Pythagorean identities, and I could rewrite this. So if I have sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1, well, 1 minus cosine squared of x is equal to, let's do this, sine squared of x over cosine of x. That's not 1, though, either, is it? No? But it is 1? That's one of the answers? Right, well, what I'm saying is I could now break this apart into sine of x times sine of x all over cosine of x. I believe I remember one of them was tangent. So you'd have tangent of x times sine of x. Is that one of the solutions they wanted you to pick? Okay. So you just got to keep on practicing, keep on trying things. You're going to get stuck.